This is a little Polaroid camera. It takes the cutest little pictures. Now look, I'm going to get whatever I focus on. I can get this pretty lady right down here in the blue. Oops, there it is. Now, this has to develop, you know, like most things we focus on. You focus on trouble long enough, it will develop into more trouble. <laughs> Amen? Uh, but if we focus on, let's see, who else can I, let, let's focus on Dave, because he sure is good looking. Amen. <laughs> Woo! That Dave, I'll tell you. Man, there you go. Woo! Look, isn't that cute? 50 bucks. You can just take pictures everywhere you go. I know, you got your selfies, but I don't do good with those. So, it's just an example. You're going to get what you focus on. What you focus on gets larger and larger in your life. It grows, and it can grow to the point where it's just like totally out of balance. It's like, like if you look at what's wrong with your life, you can actually get to the point where you just hate your life. And you think that you've got the worst life ever when really somebody else might look at your life and they might actually wish they had your life because they're seeing the stuff that you quit looking at a long time ago because you're so busy looking at all the stuff you don't like, you've forgotten what you do like. You might marry somebody and you might get so focused on what you don't like that you forgot what you liked about them that caused you to want to marry them to start with. Do you wish you had somebody else's life ever? I wish I had your life. I wish I looked like you. I wish I had your skinny thighs. <laughs> I wish, I wish, I wish. Do you often think or say, I'll be happy when? <laughs> I'll be happy when it's the weekend, because I hate my job. <laughs> I'll be happy when I get a new job. I'll be happy when I get a new house. This house is too small. I'll be happy when I get married. I'd be happy if I wasn't married. <laughs> I'd be happy if I could just have kids. I just want kids. Maybe your spouse doesn't want kids right now, and you're just like, I just can't be happy if I don't have kids. And then someday you'll be saying, I'll be so glad when these kids grow up and get out of this house. And then, of course, you'll have to be unhappy because you have an empty nest. You know, we always find something to be unhappy about unless we learn how to be happy in the Lord. Well, why do so few people thoroughly love their lives? Well, obviously, there's more than one reason. But the first one I want to talk to you about tonight is that we cannot live our lives totally for ourselves, being selfish and self-centered, and ever love life. It is just not possible. You know why? Because that's not the way God built us. God did not build us just to live for ourselves and serve ourselves, and even in our walk with him, spend all of our time trying to get him to give us what we want. Amen? Amen. That's, that's not what it's all about. We hope you enjoyed this teaching. To get more from Joyce, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing.